in my head. So <laughs> when I call fights, I mean, that look, man, I, I watched every fight this past weekend. I watched the Lomachenko fight. I watched the Bellator fight. Because they're all great. Ryan Bader King Mo. I watched the UFC fight. Amanda Nunes, Raquel Pennington. I yeah. watched everything. I, I, I love watching combat sports. See, it's my I, favorite thing to watch. And that, you know, that we were talking earlier, and it's like, you know, uh, as a fan, I would love to have, I, and even boxers, everybody in one little. That this is the group that this is what we watch for fighting, because I get to see the best against the best. Yeah, as a fighter, it's horrible. You've got to have competition out there. You've got to have more promotions because the fighter has nothing going for them if there's not other places they can be. You know, and boxing has has changed. You know, I still do boxing. Boxing has changed as far as it used to be so hard to get Linares against Lomachenko mm. because Linares is this right. champion and Lomachenko is a champion in this weight class. And so we're going to talk about this forever because we're going to build this up, build right. this up to the point where it becomes Pacquiao Mayweather and it you lost it right. years ago. And with MMA, people look and they go, I wish there could be cross promotions. And, and look at there, there are. The only one that doesn't is the UFC. Yeah. Okay. And and you can't. You have to understand that. First off, Dana did do that. He did it with pride, and he got screwed. Yeah, yeah. they tried it with. Remember when Vanderlei came over and they made this. No, big Vanderlei deal about didn't Vanderlei come f- over. But, yeah. But when they made the big deal about Vanderlei they, fighting Chuck and they, they put him in the cage, they put Sakuraba in the cage, and all it did was promote pride. Exactly. Yeah. Because Dana gave Chuck to pride. Mm-hmm. He gave Rico Rodriguez to pride. He gave them fighters right. that went over there and fought. Especially Chuck, when Chuck was really a very big He's part number, of the UFC. He, was he, huge. he just wasn't the champion. Yeah. He was number one. Yeah. You know and. He got screwed by it. And he was like, okay, that ain't going to ever happen again. And so yeah. you can't blame him. I look and go, I understand why you say screw that. Yeah. And it can, you know, in some ways, I guess it can diminish your product if someone comes from the outside and, you know, goes against your champion. It could diminish your product if you want to say that. I don't think it does. Look, it's a matter of people watch fighting not for promotions, they watch fighting for fighting. It's yeah, that's athlete why, versus athlete. That's why it's weird. That's why this UFC thing or Bellator thing is weird. Because nobody gives a fuck who Gennady Golovkin fights for. Nope. They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit if it's on HBO or if it's on Showtime. Showtime. It's like, Triple G's fighting tonight. How do I watch? Exactly. How do I watch it? You know. But that's the difference between what happened with MMA. Right. I can tell you back, you know, back before UFC 30. UFC 30 was the first one that the Fertitas were the owners of the UFC. And I can remember going to, it was at the Mark Edis Arena at the Trump Taj Mahal. And, you know, they're doing Tito's walkout because Tito was the champion. He's going to fight Evan Tanner. And it's, they're doing this. They had to actually do this firework display and they had to do it before the show. So the fire marshal would approve it. So you had to pay for it twice. You know, and mm. it was like fifty thousand dollars worth of fireworks, right? And so it was this whole thing. And he says, "Hey, do you want to watch it?" And you know, Lorenzo, I said, "Yeah, absolutely." And, and we're standing there talking. And Lorenzo at that time told me, he says, "Man, I, w- I want to be the the first promoter to be able to pay an MMA fighter a million dollars for a fight." And I told him, "That's awesome." He goes, he says, he goes, he goes, "We're going to build this up." And he's talking to me. And, and when he was talking to me, I said, "You know, Lorenzo, the only thing I can tell you is, hey." That everything you're saying is fantastic. I love it. But there's only one thing you can control, and that's your promotion. You have the UFC. Because he, he was talking about Bob Myrowitz not pushing fighters, he was pushing the UFC more. And I said, there'll get a point where you think you have that fighter, you have him under contract, and now you want him to do this, you're gonna set him up for this, and he's like, no, I don't wanna do that, I think I'd rather just do this. I said, and you're always gonna have issues with fighters to a point. It's just they're looking at what's best for them and you're looking at what's best for you and there's got to be always that compromise towards the middle. I go, so you can always control the brand. And eventually, that's what he realized is, and he pushed and he made the UFC the brand because it was Pride UFC and he started, you know, from the Ultimate Fighter, he started having this term where people associated the UFC with mixed martial arts. They didn't say mixed martial arts. They said, oh, the UFC. It's like Kleenex or Xerox. Right. 
And he did an unbelievable job with that. That's what you know his job was, is to build his company. He did. He sold it. And he's a smart man. They definitely did nail it. There's no doubt oh, absolutely. about it. And obviously, I'm a giant fan of the UFC and very loyal you should to be. them. But, but. <laughs> I want to see Rory McDonald fight the best fighters in the world. And I think that Rory McDonald is one of the best, if not the best, 170-pound fighter on the planet. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. No I doubt. mean, you watch his fight with Tyron Woodley. and oh, I understand. I did that fight. It was a long time ago, and Woodley's a different fighter now, especially under the tutelage of Duke Rufus. He's just, but. He's a better R fighter. Rory shut him down. I mean, took away everything yeah. he did. He you took know. away everything he did, and he showed this very, very deep, well-rounded game. Look, it, there's, and this is what this is another thing that people don't get is the UFC has a huge stable of fighters, okay, and, and I will tell you, look, you can. How many fighters does Bellator have in a contract? Probably about two hundred to two hundred and twenty. So UFC is going to be about six hundred. Yeah, it's quite a bit more. Yeah, yeah. and. In terms of world class, there's no competition. There's many, many more world class fighters in the UFC. But you got Michael Chandler. You got you got some oh serious God. fighters over in in Bellator. Uh, look at you. You take a look at the 170s. You know who Ed Ruth is? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Ed Ruth's going to be a monster. A monster. A monster. Yeah. Okay. Aaron Pico. Aaron, oh, how about that left hook again? That's the third left hook. Second oh, one to the body. Kids only had two fights. You know, three fights now. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, they're talking, in fact, because he works out with, you know, Freddie Roach. I was with Freddie the other day because they brought back the contender. Remember the contender mm -hmm. that was from boxing? They're bringing it back. And so I'm, I'm doing stuff there. And When is Pico's third fight? His, his, he just had his fourth fight. He just had his fourth? Yep. What? Do you want to make some money? Then you can make a lot of money on cryptocurrency. Bye sell and trade bitcoins and other cryptos using links in the description and don't forget to smash a like button for this video see you mate